Hi, I'm Laura and I'm a volunteer with Nature in the City and we rely a lot on volunteers to help steward some of these natural areas in the city such as in the Green Hair Street corridor here. I'm at 15th and Quintara where there's a population of Green Hair Street butterflies, one of the few populations left in the city. So I'm going to talk today about how you can help to steward some of these sites either by helping us pull weeds or document the species using iNaturalist. Show you some of the equipment that will come in handy, but first I'm actually sitting right next to one of the first green hair streaks we've seen in the season. They're about the size of a nickel, so they're really small and blend in nicely. So if you have gloves, that will help. And then if you can bring some kind of bag to collect the weeds, if you have a paper bag and a compost at home, you can fill it up and bring it home and put the whole thing in your compost, or you can use a plastic bag and then dump it into the, pla into the compost without the plastic bag, or even just tuck this on site somewhere and leave it in the corner and we'll pick it up later. So whatever is the easiest for you. This is the main plant that we're going after. This is Oxalis, which is an introduced species that's really invasive and it can take over the whole site if we let it. The trick about this plant is that it reproduces by bulbs that are under the soil. And so we want to try to pull it up, but get as many of the bulbs as we can. You can see I missed most of them. So if you get a chance to dig in and pull up, all of these little white bulbs, bulblets in here can each start a new plant. So as many of them as you can get out, the better. And then of course, put the whole plant in the bag that we want to leave in place and be careful of are the host plants. So this is the most important one. This is the coast buckwheat, which as you can see, the adult butterfly uses, but more importantly, this is the host plant for the caterpillar. The um, cocoon is usually somewhere underneath the plant and then the caterpillar eats the leaves while it's growing. Another plant we want to watch out for and keep in place, this is the seaside daisy and the flower is an important source of nectar for the adult butterfly. And of course we want to save our state flower, the California poppy, which is also really important for bees and other insects, not to be confused with the oxalis that we're trying to weed out. Anytime you see a grass, feel free to pull it out. There's one that's especially nasty, the Erharta, that isn't right here, but I'll show you a picture. The other way you can help is using either your smartphone or an old-fashioned data sheet and help us collect data. You can take photos of all the plants and animal species that you see and then upload them into iNaturalist where it can actually help you identify what the species is and then you can record it as being part of the Green Hair Street Corridor or any of our other sites around the city. Thank you for being part of Nature in the City.